my name is raghavin tagrawal today in this topic we will discuss on network function management services of nrf let's begin let's first understand that if any new network function whether it is pcf amf smf right is going to get added into the network right then as soon as it is being configured it send the registration request to the nrf nf instance register message it send the nf instance register message and it will use the nfm service of nrf network function management service to the nrf so it will send the nf instance register message to the nrf when it send the nf instance register message it includes the network function profile right it includes the network function profile and send the request to nrf if you see here the message is put n nrf nfm nfm is a service which is being uh, uh, used by the uh, pcf and exposed by the nrf and then the message is nf instance instance id register right if you see here there is a nf instance id nf type as pcf nf status would be registered plmn list will the plmn for which this pcf supports ip address of pcf then it will it will also include allowed nf type allowed nf type means what all consumer can use this service for example udr smf right so it will include the allowed nf type which allowed nf type which will be allowed right to consume these services right so this is called nf profile network function profile which is being sent by the producer of the service in this case we have taken the example of pcf which will send the nf instance register message to the nrf basis that nrf will store this information nf profile into the nrf database and maintain the status of the network function as registered and respond back to the um, uh, producer which is pcf with the heartbeat timer heartbeat timer and the nf profile which is being stored into the database right is as form of 201 created right so during the registration process the producer will send the nf profile to the nrf nrf maintain that status into the database and respond to the nrf as 20 uh, respond to the nf as 201 created with the heartbeat timer right let's understand nf send updates to the nrf about the nf status before the heartbeat timer expires so when the network function register into the nrf nrf send the heartbeat timer and before expiry of the heartbeat timer nf which is the which in this case is the pcf send the nf instance update message right nf instance update message using the services and nrf nfm using the service and nrf nfm the pcf will send the update message to the nrf and update the status what is the status of the um, uh, uh, the network function again it will update the path nf status as registered because the timer is being is going to get expired the heartbeat timer which was given by the nrf during the registration time is going to get expired due to that the nf is sending the update message to the nrf so that nrf can update the status into nrf database for that particular producer and the database will get updated as nf status is registered right and send the acknowledgement back to the producer let's understand that subscription and notification service let's say that the pcf has sent the subscription request to the nrf saying that the message is an nrf nfm nfm is again the management service network function management service which is being exposed by the nrf and the pcf sent the post request and trying to subscribe what it it what is it is trying to subscribe it is trying to subscribe the 
NF type requested NF type. Let's say the PCF trying to subscribe the CHF, right? For which event NF registered, deregistered, or profile change means it is informing to the NRF, right? And informing that if the requested NF type is CHF, right? Because it is trying to subscribe the CHF events. If the new CHF is being registered or it is deregistered or profile change happened. Right? Please send the notification. So PCF is subscribing in the NRF for CHF registration, deregistration, and profile change. Right? This is called subscription. Then the NRF will respond back with the 201 created and it will also inform the subscription ID and validity time. Validity time means for which particular period this particular subscription is valid. So it will inform back with the subscription ID and validity time. Validity time informed to the uh, PCF saying that this particular subscription is valid till this particular time. Okay. Let's see that if before validity timer get expired then PCA will send the subscription update NF instance subscription update to the NRF right subscription update and it will send the subscription ID and send the well updated validity time so that NRF can update the validity time status into the NRF database so that the validity of that particular subscription get extended Otherwise, it will get expired and once it will get expired, the NRF will not send the notification to the, uh, the NF, which is the PCF in this case. Let's understand NRF notify notification. So as soon as the profile change happened, whatever is being subscribed by the by the network function, if that event happened, then NRF send the notification. NF instance notification, right? If you see here, the profile profile change happened. So as soon as the profile change is being detected, the NRF will send the notification to the subscribed NF who has subscribed this profile change. In our case, the PCF and send the updated profile of the CHF towards the PCF. Then PCF will respond back. Because the event which has happened here is NF profile change and this NF profile change is being subscribed by the PCF, right? So as soon as the NRF uh, detect that there is a profile change happened, it sent the profile updated profile to the PCF via an NRF notification. Thank you so much.